Jan, I have two daughters with dystonia. Uh, one had DBS in 2003, and the other is having DBS sometime this year. What has the DMRF done recently to improve treatments and therapies? We as a foundation start with, with the basics, which means we start with dystonia patients first. We gather information about the needs and the uh, state of the art of treatment um, in clinical neurology. And then we go back to the basics again, to basic science, to essential fundamental research to identify potential targets for treatments, uh, ways of uh, improving treatments. And sometimes the, uh, the road between those two points is very um, not straightforward, uh, so to speak. And um, we uh, support basic research. We also support translational research, which is another step from basic research towards treatment uh, to apply uh, basic scientific knowledge to, to that. And there is a whole range of uh, topics and areas uh, which uh, that entails uh, ranging from uh, purely biochemical molecular studies, going into neurophysiology, going into uh, clinical studies as, as well. And this involves people who are working in academia, uh, research labs, very often not really tightly connected to dystonia uh, itself, <coughs> but also pharmaceutical companies um, which uh, get encouragement from us mm -hmm. and help uh, whenever possible uh, from our standpoint to uh, introduce or modify new, uh, new treatments. I think one of the uh, interesting things that I uh, learned was how the foundation is looking into repurposing pharmaceuticals or funding research that will look at um, is it repurposing yes. uh, pharmaceuticals uh, for new applications and that seems to hold a lot of promise. Right, obviously the developing drugs cost a lot of money, mm -hmm. uh, there are many uh, uh, legal and regulatory hurdles and uh, people are very cautious whenever thinking about uh, introducing a completely new uh, drug candidate. And we know that pharmaceutical industry and uh, academic world over many decades developed a huge number of uh, chemicals and uh, drug candidates which have not been fully tested. So this opens up a completely new possibility that th there are drugs which have been approved for certain diseases but never tested properly in other diseases. And we. Uh, very often hear anecdotal evidence that, oh, I, I took this uh, by accident and I felt better. We need proper clinical trials, but running a clinical trial for a known drug, which is already uh, known to be safe, is much cheaper, much quicker, and may result in uh, either modifying this drug slightly or simply approving for uh, a new use, for new use, like in, in Estonia. So there is huge hope in, in uh, you know, going the, in, in this direction.